there again is the Fraps Movies. And that is the video we just shot. There it is. Okay. So there's the short clip. Now the frame rate's not so great, but the quality is lossless, so you're not losing any details even in darkness there. So here's the settings I got. Now I tried out some different editors, like I tried out Adobe Premiere Element 7. It was terrible, it crashed. I couldn't get it to work properly with my custom codec, which is the X264 video for Windows. Terrible. I just, it was it was so slow and crashed, and I just, it was, a lot of people are using it. I wanted to get it to work right, and I tried so hard, and it was, it was a mess. It was just not working and crashing. So I tried other ones, like Virtual Dub's free, um, and it works pretty much perfectly, but it's not a, what, what is it, a non-linear video editor? It's not a non-linear video editor. It's just a super basic you take a raw video, you can compress it, and you can make videos if you don't do any editing. I mean, there's some filters and things, or you can do some minor cuts, but it's not that much of an editor, and it's not easy to work with. But it does a very good job, it's very fast, and it works perfectly with the custom codecs. Here. But, um, some other ones I tried, AVS Video Editor. Uh, that worked really well. Um except that occasionally we get some artifacts. So I'm not really going to go into that. That had some occasional hiccups and issues, and so I just decided to abandon that one. So I'm going to use Sony Vegas, and these are the settings that we're going to be using. So I'll go through them to them, explain them. All right, so in here, make a new project. Um, you're going to want to make sure your project settings match your video settings and we are going to have a 1280 by 720 video with that frame rate and progressive so the source video is here now I have the K-Lite codec pack installed so if I right click I get media info which is a little program that comes with it and it shows you just some information about the codecs and the, everything that's in use here also shows you this here, which is the proper size, and you might have to use sizer to adjust your settings and the sizer settings to match your window width and height to get the proper actual recorded 1280 by 720. So once you have that, you're good to go. Then we're going to take our video here, put it into Sony Vegas, go to Project Properties, and this is where you can adjust things if things don't match exactly. Like your frame rate, you can change that to 30 if you're recording 30 or 60 if you got the um, ability to do that with, with a nice computer. Uh, field order should be none. Progressive um, pixel aspect ratio should be square usually. Um, usually these settings are good, best quality. Um, mostly it's default. Audio you can choose whatever kind of audio you want. Stereo 4141. But you got to match. These are the most important settings to match here. This this top box and best quality. So when you go to render, actually we have to drag it down here before we render. Okay, there's a short video. Um, so you can play it. It'll play back up here. Edit it. Do all your editing. Add tracks. And like here's where I would drag in my extra audio from my mic from Audacity after I've cleaned up the audio with the noise removal. Um, I'm not going to do that now. Just going to go up to render as don't need to save project media markers. Um, I don't know what they're for. I think they're for editing. There's little flags up here when you're doing edits. don't really need those in there. Um, but you probably will want to make a template and save it. But first time you do it, you'll have to go into here to custom. Frame size. Use project settings is kind of handy. You can specifically specify 1280 by 720 or I just use project settings because 
I make sure it's the right size beforehand, and sometimes I'll do 1440 by 900, which is my full screen monitor width, and other times it'll be the standard 720p, 1280 by 720. Um, again, here you can make sure your settings are right, and then you can choose your codec. This is the one I'm using, X264 video for Windows, which you can get here from SourceForge. Um, nice codec, good quality, good compression. I mean, you can use whichever codec you want, but I had trouble with some other ones, and this works out great. So, and again, there's Sizer, which you can get from brianapps.net, and Auto Hotkey from autohotkey.com. So, in the configure, here are the settings that I use for this. Everything is a default except for this setting, zero latency, which I'll explain in a minute. This setting, which is log level. Um, I have it at none now because when I was using um, Premiere Elements, if I had a warning and it threw up a warning for whatever reason from Premiere Elements, they just didn't seem to work well together, then it would crash Premiere. None seems to work fine and doesn't interfere with any kind of strange feedback or output so that Vegas doesn't get confused. But I haven't had any trouble again with Vegas with this codec. Um, virtual dub hack should be unchecked. I had it checked because I was trying to um, do a test with virtual dub before so that you want to make sure that's unchecked unless you are using virtual dub if you're using virtual dub then you want to make sure it's checked but we're not we're using Sony Vegas so uncheck um, the default here is usually quantizer based but I have it back to um, bitrate based 4500 it's the average bitrate so that works good quality you could probably go lower and still get really good quality but I wanted like really good quality so I don't have to worry about it it doesn't really add too much to the time, the render time. So if that all looks good, um, I'm going to want to make sure this zero latency is checked. And when I explain that, I had an audio video sync issue where the video and the audio were out of sync. Um, they were in sync in the fraps footage, in the raw footage. In other words, if I were to go back and play that window there, then the video, that's the one, the Minecraft clip we just took, the audio and video would be in sync, no problems. If I were to encode the video in virtual dub, the audio video would be in sync. Okay. Now, if I were to encode it in anything else, including Sony Vegas, the video would freeze for a few seconds, and the audio would start before the video shows, and it would be about one to two and a half seconds. Um, and then the video would catch up, or not catch up, but it would start, and the video and audio would be out of sync at that point. So I figured out after a lot of troubleshooting that the problem there was the zero latency setting um, had to be set during the encoding process in the X264 video for window codec settings. And that did fix the problem. Um, so after that is checked and I encode with that setting on, playing it back didn't have that sync issue anymore. Now, and something to note, even with that um, setting unchecked and when I did have that playback issue, when I was playing back locally, if I were to um, send that file, if I sent that file to YouTube, they do a little bit of processing and they fix the issue during their processing. They're actually converting it from what I'm going to be encoding as AVI to their native MP4 format. And during that conversion, what they do is it fixes that problem. So that's just something interesting. So remember to check that zero latency option in the setting there to avoid this out of sync issue. Okay, so we don't need that now. Hit OK there. Um, interleave, I think that's the default. That should be checked. Everything's. I'm using AC3 audio. You could use MP3. Doesn't matter. Um, I just get 192. I wanted to make sure the quality settings were good. Like really good, so I don't have to worry about them. I can just render them. OK. And then you can name it and save it. And it does take some time, it'll render. My computer is from no, the hardware is from 2005, 2006. Processors an AMD uh, Athlon 64 3000 plus, but I've got it overclocked slightly, and I added extra memory and stuff. So, but we're on XP and computer hardware is either from 2005 or 2006. So it's old computer, single core. Um, my graphics card is a decent graphics card though. Well, almost decent. I, I've upgraded a couple times. It's at 8600. 
GT that's also overclocked. Um, so it goes pretty good. It takes about, in my case, like I don't have as bad as some people out there, but it still takes, like for every minute of video, it takes like six minutes to render somewhere in that range. I think I got that right. Well, what do you think? A 15 minute video takes about an hour and a half. Something like that. No, wait, not that long. What, a 15 minute video. Yeah, 15 minute does take that long. I'm thinking of shorter videos. So it does quite. This does is very processor intensive. So this little short clip's just finished. Um, I can show you on the desktop. There it is, untitled.avi. We also got this SFL file there. And there's also a um, SFK file there in the original props footage directory. Those are created by uh, Sony Vegas. You can delete them if you want, but they contain information about the file. Um, you can delete your file here, and it'll delete the SFK there automatically for you. So you can just do that when you're done the project. So I'm just going to show you the uh, rendered final quality video here. see the quality is good although the frame rate is probably not so great just because I'm recording on top of recording Fraps is recording the Minecraft there and then the cam studio is recording everything right now so yeah the frame rate's not probably got so good but everything is sharp clear colors correct um, it just seems really good to me so I mean you could use that settings if you want if you find them good um, so hopefully that helps you I don't think I got anything else here. I just wanted to go back here, check. And at this point, you can just upload to YouTube as normal. And that's how you can make your own movies with specific settings there that work out well. And hopefully some of that helps with the frame rate issues and the syncing and other things like that. So, thanks for watching.